Looping for 1,700 miles through Ontario's accessible northern communities is one of the province's most overlooked and underrated road trips. The Boreal Route, which typically starts among the scenic rock of the Canadian Shield in the city of Sudbury, Ontario, loops up through small towns such as Tomogamy, Cochrane, and Kirkland Lake, connecting eight under-the-radar Ontario provincial parks. The route can be done in its entirety, which includes visits to Cap Kigiwan Provincial Park, Esker Lakes Provincial Park, Kettle Lakes Provincial Park, Rene Brule Provincial Park, Fushimi Lake Provincial Park, Nagagamisis Provincial Park, and White Lake Provincial Park. Or, those with slightly less time on their hands can take what's been dubbed the Boreal Route Highlights, which is what my family embarked on. This 1,500 kilometer journey takes park lovers through Cap Kigawan, Esker Lakes, Kettle Lakes, Fushimi Lake, and Ivanhoe Lake. Along the drive, you'll experience some of Ontario's most underappreciated wonders, such as the polar bear habitat in Cochrane, Ontario, and the town that inspired the NHL, Kirkland Lake. Our road trip began in our home of Brampton, heading through the scenic Northern Ontario highways, stopping in Sudbury and Tomogamy along the way. We pulled into Cap Kigiwan Provincial Park in the mid afternoon, but thanks to the long summer days of Northern Ontario, there was still plenty of time to explore. This small operating park about an hour north of Tomogamy might not have the beaches and lakes of many traditional Ontario provincial parks, Still, it's a standout along the Boreal Route thanks to a series of five waterfalls that cascade down the Engelhart River that slices through the park. Esker Lakes Provincial Park is a short one-hour drive from Cap Kigawan. Esker Lakes has a landscape crafted 10,000 years ago when kilometer-high glaciers left piles of sand and dirt in the form of eskers. Massive ice boulders were also left behind, forming the park's Kettle Lakes as they melted. These days, the earth has rebounded, offering stunning nature, sparkling lakes, and wildlife-filled bogs where the midsummer blueberry bloom means that every hike also offers a tasting plate. The scenic Kettle Lakes Provincial Park is just under two hours from Esker Lakes. Along the way, we stopped at Dream Acres Alpaca Farm. Dream Acres is a scenic farm offering tours and alpaca walks. It sits just 15 minutes from the city of Timmins and just a short drive from the Esker Lakes Provincial Park entrance. They have over 30 adorable alpacas and offer farm tours, alpaca wool products, and a glimpse into farm life in Northern Ontario. Where Cap Kigiwan is all about the waterfalls and Esker Lakes offers fabulous hiking, the sprawling Kettle Lakes is best enjoyed from the water. Take the scenic, if bumpy, drive through the park's back roads to enjoy some of the more remote lakes. Enjoy a hike around the beautiful waters of Sausage Lake, or spend some time paddling, fishing, and watching the scenery in Lake Panagapka. We were lucky enough to see bears sipping from the waters and dining on some local vegetation during our canoe ride on Island Lake. The drive from Kettle Lakes to Fushimi Lake Provincial Park might be among the longest on the journey, but this four-hour stretch of the Boreal Route passes through some of Northern Ontario's most fascinating towns. With stops in Hearst and Moonbeam along the way, you won't get bored. But if you have time for just one stop, make it the town of Cochrane, where you can stop by the Cochrane polar bear habitat. This sprawling wildlife refuge is the only habitat in the world focused solely on the care and rehabilitation of polar bears. A visit here includes access to the Vintage Snowmobile Museum, an historic village, and a fantastic playground to help kids burn off some pent-up road trip energy. 
Fushimi Lake Provincial Park surrounds the landscapes and waters of Fushimi Lake. The scenic waters are popular for anglers, boaters, and paddlers. If you'd like to explore the lake, you can rent canoes, kayaks, stand-up paddleboards, and even motorboats from the park. One of our favorite parts of Fushimi Lake Provincial Park was the short hike to Achilles Lake, which boasts one of the best sunsets in the north. Although the clouds were starting to roll in at the end of the day, we were still treated to a beautiful view shared with loons, a beaver, and the calmness of the water. Our four and a half hour drive from Fushimi Lake to Ivanhoe Lake Provincial Park was a rainy one. This made stopping for some sightseeing in the city of Timmins a no-go. But luckily, by the time we arrived at Ivanhoe Lake, the weather had cleared up and we had some of the best skies of our entire trip. After pulling into our campground and setting up for the day, the sun was shining and the day was looking wonderful. We hiked the Saw Lake Trail, experiencing a deeper connection with nature than we had experienced on the trip thus far. It seemed that everywhere we looked, the environment was in a unique state of display. There were colorful fungus, carnivorous pitcher plants, trees with recent displays of woodpecker activity, brilliant green moss, and enough stunning views that we didn't want the hike to end. The only thing that tore us away was the call of the crystal clear waters of Ivanhoe Lake and the promise of a refreshing late day swim before enjoying a campfire and s'mores. Our six day tour of the Northern Ontario Boreal Route is coming to an end. Over the past few days, we've experienced some of the most beautiful Ontario parks uh, in the North and our eyes have really been open to an incredible selection of places that a lot of visitors don't ever get the chance to see or don't ever take the time to see. Uh, our tour through Cap Kig Iwan, uh, Esker Lakes, Kettle Lakes, Fushimi, and uh, Ivanhoe Lake, which is where we are now, uh, has been amazing. Each park is incredibly unique, beautiful, and offers its own set of features that really sets it apart from each of the other individual parks uh, along this route. If you have the chance to visit, do it. Because first of all, the parks are quiet, they're relaxing, uh, they're beautiful, and you'll get the chance to go and talk about some of the incredible Ontario parks that a lot of people have just never visited. A lot of people don't even know that they're here. Uh, so I'm going to take this chance just before we head to bed, just to ask each one of the kids and Christina what their favorite experiences were along the way, because we've had a lot. What has been your favorite part of our trip along the Boreal Route. My favorite um, part of the trip was when we went canoeing and we saw the bear. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. My favorite part of the Boreal Route was catching three frogs. My favorite part of the Boreal Route uh, had to be the beginning of the trip when we went to Cap Kigiwan and there were so many waterfalls in the park and I didn't expect that, so it, it was beautiful. So there it is, three different people, three different impressions on the best things to see on the Northern Ontario Boreal Route. I'm sure that when you come up here and you do this trip yourself, that you're gonna find your own reasons to fall in love. If you are looking for a fabulous adventure that takes you through some of the lesser explored regions of Northern Ontario, the Boreal Route should make your shortlist. Not only is each provincial park along the route beautiful and utterly unique from the others, there are more than enough things to do on the Boreal Route to keep any visitor occupied and engaged from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit those like and subscribe buttons. They really help support our channel. We'll see you next time on Wandering Waggers, 
adventure, family, travel.